Okay, well, what do you need to uh, do this project? Um, just a few components here. You're going to need some uh, distilled white vinegar, some um, super fine steel wool. You can see it only cost me a dollar. You can get it on sale and get it at the dollar store pretty cheap. Uh, you might also need some double uh, O, very fine steel wool. You can also get that at the dollar store. You're going to need some, some sort of paste wax. Um, I have some Meguiar's wax here. That's just a cleaner wax. Um, if you do, if you have any car wax, as long as it's, um, you know, the, the paste type here uh, and not like the spray bottle, um, you'll be okay. Yeah, usually um, people have this around. If you don't, you probably have somebody you know you can borrow some from. You don't need a lot. You're going to need some, uh, some sandpaper probably, depending on how um, bad the surface is. Uh, I've got some 220 here, uh, just a couple scraps there. And uh, you're going to need a couple of different towels probably, um, so you can dry things off and wipe things off. And then you're going to need um, some coconut oil. And coconut oil, I love it. Uh, if you don't have coconut oil in your shop, you definitely need to get some because coconut oil is amazing. I'll explain more later in the video. And then, um, especially if you've got a really tough job on your hands, you might, might need some latex gloves. I have got some rust spots on my table saw here. This is a uh, cast iron table saw. Um, it's got uh, it's got just marks here in it that have been there for various reasons. So first thing we got to do is we got to make it safe. So we're gonna go ahead and remove the power, make sure it's not on, and we're gonna lower the blade. We're gonna remove this, and uh, we're gonna get started. Make sure that you get the um, the top of this dusted off. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna start with our bottle of vinegar, and uh, we're just gonna put a little bit on a rag, and then we're gonna start rubbing it on the the area where you got your rust. And you got you might get lucky sometimes. Um, you know, it might immediately start getting better. Um, but in this case, it's pretty pretty caked on there. I'm gonna take the uh, steel wool now, and I'm gonna go ahead and work that up and down. And you can probably see it's starting to smear a little bit here, orangey color. And we're gonna put some vinegar on the steel wool, and we're gonna keep working that here. If you really have a stubborn spot, I mean, this is a pretty stubborn spot here. You may need to up it. Okay, well, I'm gonna go ahead and use a heavier steel wool here. Um, I'm using a double lot. This is a um, very fine, and uh, we'll see how this works. It's probably gonna do a little bit better job of removing more material off before. And just keep in mind, if you have a finished surface, you know, you may rub be rubbing some of that finish off, so just be prepared to uh, manage that expectation because you can't have steel getting rusted and have a finish and expect uh, you know that you can really clean that that rust off very well reminds me of Easter Easter's around the corner now and uh, it smells like I'm dying Easter eggs in here Okay, I just grabbed a piece of 220 sandpaper here. It's just regular sandpaper, and um, you don't need much. I would definitely suggest folding it up in smaller sections here if you have, again, more stubborn spots. Um, I've got this spot here. It's still not completely coming up, so I'm going to try to uh, put a little vinegar on that, on the sandpaper here, and uh, see if we can finish this off here.
starting to come back to life. Um, you can definitely see a difference here. And you can see there's some marks in it here from all the streaks and stuff. It's still not completely dry, but I still haven't gotten all the way down. But that looks a ton better than that. I'm going to go ahead and finish this up here, and I'll check back with you in a second. pretty gross. That's my why you might need some gloves. You can see that this is starting to dry a little bit. This stuff is the best. Um, it's not that expensive. A um, few bucks if you get it on Amazon. Uh, you can get them in smaller bottles. I have a 32 ounce here. This is the Carrington Farms brand. Unflavored, odorless. This stuff is, it works wonders. If you ever have, um, if you get stain, like an oil-based stain on your hand or a water-based even, you know, you can use water all day long on a water base. It really doesn't help that, that much. You have to use really hot water, especially if it's stuck to your hands. Or if you've actually spilled stain on like concrete surface, actually still uh, spilled a huge um, can of stain. It was probably like a, a full quart of, of stain, dark walnut stain on my on my driveway one day, and uh, this stuff totally saved me. Um, I, you, it literally just completely pulls it up. So um, there's nothing wrong with this. It's very organic. Uh, it's all natural. see the before and after um, and here's that sort of stain parts that I was talking about where I could work some more on it but gosh I mean it's almost got a glossy finish to it uh, you can see my camera here in in the in the shadow of my camera there and obviously uh, you can see the shadow here but you know you wouldn't know what it was now you're probably saying David why are you waxing your table saw waxes for cars and legs and <laughs> surfboards uh, well wax is a sealant and um, you know it doesn't last a, a heck of a long time but it does a pretty good job um, again you could get this wax anywhere uh, pet boys you know your local auto store um, I just have this already because I detail my own cars and we have a lot of this around. Uh, some people might say, hey, can I use like a spray wax? You probably could, but it's not gonna last as long as something like this. So I'd suggest getting a, a paste wax. And basically all you're gonna do is just like if you've ever waxed a car. Uh, we've gone from uh, Easter egg vinegar smell to Meguiar's sort of bubblegum smell. I love the smell of this wax. So we're going to apply this and we'll wait for it to dry completely before we, uh, we buff it off. Really all you need 
need to do is just make sure that your wax is, is turning into this sort of pasty look. Um, and once all of that appears like it's got that thick pasty coated look to it, now you can buff. Take a rag. Uh, I just have an old golf towel here and just start going in circles and start buffing it. You don't have to go in circles, you can just go up and down here, it's fine. Mr. Miyagi isn't here. Pretty good. It's nice and smooth now, good surface. And you can see here's the before and there's the after. That's all I've got. If you have any questions, if you have any comments, please put them in the, in the comment section below. And uh, please like and subscribe this video. Anyway, thanks a lot for the support. Signing off.